What's up, people? This is your boy, K Solo. I'm kind of a little upset right now, man. I was recording this video, and I was like about 10 to 15 minutes in the video, yo. And all of a sudden, I had it plugged into this fucking laptop, and this laptop decided to, you know, make a noise, beep, beep, and turned off the whole video, because I'm, I'm recording this on the phone. You feel me? So I had it plugged to the phone. I made the laptop, and damn, baby. Oh, man, I got started a little bit, but you know something? I'm going to do that because I love you guys, and, and I appreciate you guys, and I appreciate you guys appreciating me, man. No question about that, you heard? So I'm going to bless you guys with a story, and this story is about two brothers, but check it, though. I'm not going to give up their names because this is these two dudes I knew. One of the brothers used to go out with my ex, with my daughter's mother. You understand what I'm saying? He went out with her first. And then a couple of years later, I started, you know, I went out with her and stuff, and stuff like that. You, you feel me? And, you know, God, you know, God bless her, man. She gave me a daughter, a daughter who I love. I mean, you know, I wish I, I could have been more part of her life, but things happen. So it, everything happens for a reason. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, I just hope one day she could realize that I care about her, that I, there's not a day that I don't think about my daughter and my grandkids. It's not a day, man. So, you know, it's, it's you know, yeah, I almost got choked up, man, because I think about, when I think about my daughter, man, it's my daughter, you feel I me? Mean? So anyway, the two brothers, like I said, one of them used to go out with my, with my, with my daughter's mother. You know, that's how I, I, I didn't know them when he was, when, 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 when and I, I'm going to call him Jay and Gordo, okay? Jay, uh, let me see. I, I, I don't know who was older, but one thing I do know, they looked at alike. They was not twins. They was not twins, but they looked at fucking alike, man. No, no, no lie. No lie about that. So, anyway, now these two brothers had a nephew. And I knew the nephew. I knew this kid when this kid was a nerd. I'm being honest. I met this kid in, in 1985 when I moved into 181st and Morris and Burn. I mean, excuse me, Burnside. Mo excuse me, Morris and Creston. You know, you understand what I'm saying? So when I moved in there in 1985, this kid was a nerd going to school. You know, so you know, from 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 being a nerd going to school to becoming a beast, this dude was a beast. As a matter of fact, he even became a fucking king. You heard? He became a king, bro. Like I said. You I know a lot of dudes that, you know, that was nerds and the next thing you know be, they murderers, you feel me? So anyway, Goido, now Goido, Goido is the one that did not go out with my ex, my ex you feel me? Now Goido and his nephew was tight, they was tight, you know, and by being tight, they was, you know, like I said, the nephew became a beast, dude started sniffing that dope. So he was sticking shit up, being like like crazy him and Gordo. Now Jay, who Jay I believe is the oldest. Jay is the dude that went out with my ex. Now Jay, I don't know what's going on with Jay, but I do know he's out. I do know he's out. You know he was out at that time, whatever he was doing, but he was out. So one day, there's a picture. A pitcher is a dude who slings the dope for the next man. It was these Dominicans that had this 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 dope, and I I don't know even what block it was, but this dude who I'm talking about used to work for the Dominicans, and I don't know what happened, but I but I, but what I heard from the from the grapevine was that they fired this kid because he kept coming out short, and he was with the Dominicans when the spot first started. So he was tight that these niggas gonna treat him like that. You feel I me? Mean? Mm. You know, I'm fucking loyal to you guys. So why did I sniff dope? But I'm loyal to you guys. And that's what I believe. That's what, how he felt. You understand what I'm saying? Because once they fired this dude, this dude wanted revenge. He wanted revenge, bro. But they knew where he lived at. So homeboy used to live with his mom, so he was not ready to go to war with these kids because these, I mean with these Dominicans because these Dominicans knew where he lived at, they knew everything about him. But what he did was he went to Gordo and went to Gordo's nephew. And like I told you, Gordo and his nephew was robbing everything. B. They were doing home benches, yo. They, they were breaking into people's house while they was there. 
Yo, yo, they used to knock on the door when somebody used to come and open the door. If you didn't look through the peak or say, yo, who are you? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Now, nah, you know what I'm saying? You know, I don't know you, kid. You don't open the door. But now, there's some people just look, don't even look through the peak or it opens the door. So if you was one of those dudes, these two, the nephew and the, and the uncle, will bug, I mean, will bodyguard yourself right into the apartment with them and just pull out. And your guy's like, oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you got caught. You got caught because you opened the door without without thinking, idiot. So, boom. So, that was, that was their thing. But at that, and, and once again, like I said, they were doing that fucking, you know, that, 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 that butter shit. They were sniffing that deal. And I knew them, used to, if, if, if I used to get high with these niggas, no. Did I hang out with these niggas? No. But I knew them. He, you know what I'm saying? Especially the two brothers. And the nephew. But the two brothers, because they was like my age at that time. So, the dude that was slinging dope, the one that got fired, he goes to Gordo and goes to Gordo's nephew and says, yo, man, I know these dudes, B, who I used to work for, and I guarantee you, if you go into that apartment, you're going to get like 40000 maybe 50000 and some dope money. Crazy, bro. He painted like a Picasso. You feel me? This dude painted a picture like a Picasso. So Gordo and his nephew were just getting thirsty. They were like, you know, they he's talking about forty, fifty thousand dollars plus dope, money, jewelry, maybe weapons. You understand what I'm saying? So now these like I said, these two dudes used to not think. They used to go and do crazy shit, but they not used to think. So what happens? Gordo and his nephew goes wind up sticking the place up. But there was no forty thousand dollars. There was no fifty, forty thousand dollars. There was somewhere in the range of seven thousand dollars. Seven to ten thousand. And a, a few bundles here and a few money, a little, a little maybe four or five hundred, something like that. It was not all that, but you know, they 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 got you know, like seven, eight thousand, maybe seven to ten thousand dollars, a few bundles and a few paper. You, you feel me? They got that plus they robbed the connection for the little gold chains, they watches, they rings, and shit like that. Okay, they did that, they got over. But what happens? The dude goes, the dude that, that set up the shit, the dude that got fired, he was supposed to get PC. He was supposed to get PC. He wanted revenge. But he also wanted PC because he told them, you know, the 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 the, the Gordo and the nephew, you know, what time it was, how you could get him, what time you could get him, and what the Gordo and his nephew did, they didn't do shit for homeboy. They disrespect them. They didn't gave him nothing, not a crumb, not a half a bag for that nigga to sniff it. I'm serious, bro. They didn't even get that nigga half a bag to wake up to in the morning with a wake up. They didn't get that nigga a wake up nothing. Nothing. This nigga was a paper trail. <laughs> you feel I me? Mean? So, homeboy felt bad. So now, for a while, you know, he he, he knows where Gordo lives at. He knows where Gordo and his cousin, I mean, excuse me, and his nephew hangs at. So he's telling these nigga, yo, man, you know, I want my money. I want my PC. And these niggas said, yo, but there was nothing there. There was nothing like about a thousand dollars, blah, blah, blah. You know, and dude knew there was money in there, B. The only thing is that they, they messed up was that they hit the spot before, I mean, they already took the money. They already took the money in, the Dominicans already went and collected the money, collected all that. If they would have been there like an hour earlier, maybe two hours earlier, they would have had chatter. They would have had a few 40, 50 thousand. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, they was holding like that and the kid knew. The dude, the pitcher knew how much money was going to be there. How much money was going to be there. That was supposed to be a pickup day. Where the connect goes and picks up the shit every week. And this spot was bubbling. This spot was bubbling. That's the time that they had nine and a half. I don't know if you guys heard about that shit. The nine and a half stamp. They were the same partners from, um... God, uh, shit, what was that? I forgot that. The other Stingray, I think it was. I think it was Stingray. She was banging. You know, anybody that had that shit was making cheddar. Matter of fact, they got hit. A lot of those dudes got hit went to the fans, B. That's, you know what I'm saying? No question about that, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, shout out to my man, Mink2000. He, you know, he got, you know, a lot of dudes got hit for that, man. A lot of people, man. I mean, 
I heard it, you know, they, being honest, they look like it wasn't fed, man. They look, like, I don't think it was fed time. But they got hit big time. And they grabbed mad people from different spots. You feel I me? Mean? So anyway, these two dudes get over on these Dominicans. They rob these Dominicans, you know, did the Dominicans dirty. Now, he did, now those, these two did the picture. The dude that gave up the, you know, that, that gave them the idea where to go, what's up, he even did them more dirty because they didn't give this man nothing. Like I said, they didn't even give him a half a bag of dope for him to wake up in the morning time and sniff that hat to feel better. They, yo, it was a diss. But what he does now, now he's tight. Now he's tight because he's going to these two. Yo, what's up? What's up? And these two niggas like, yo, there was not that much money in there, blah, blah, blah. Fucking gorgeous nephew even disrespect this dude like, like, like guy in the niggas face. Like, yo, I'm told you, there ain't no money, bro. I mean, you know, with the, with the finger like this on the nigga's nose, you know? And, and dude's like, okay, all right. You know, he didn't tell him that, but in his mind, I know what he was thinking, revenge. Revenge is better served cold. You ever heard that thing? That saying? Mm. Now, now, what the dude did, who set up the the, the, the hit, he said, yo, I'm going to go and tell somebody that I know that works with the Dominicans. I'm going to tell him who did it. You feel me? He going to go to one of their pitchers who they got working now. He was going to go to them and say, yo, listen, man, I know who robbed the, 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 the Dominicans. And the dude that's selling the dope, he going to go back and tell Dominicans, yo, I know who sold your shit. You know, to, to, you know, to get right with the Dominicans. You understand what I'm saying? That's what you call loyalty. I'm making my money with these dudes now. Now, if I hear some news who robbed these niggas, I'm going to go tell these niggas, yo, this nigga robbed you. You know what I'm saying? Some people feel like that. Like, you know, they, 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 they think. And I don't know if it's loyalty. I don't know if it's good or bad. Because, I mean, if you haven't been rocking with somebody for a while and you've just been selling for that person maybe two or three weeks and, and, and you, you know, Somebody that you know tells you, yo, man, I robbed that nigga solo. And you're going to go and tell me? I mean, it's crazy, but shit happens. So now, this dude goes and tells one of their pictures, yo, man, I know who did it, B. Yo, you know that dude, Gordo, and his nephew, that they be running around here robbing niggas, blah, blah, blah. They did it, and I know where they live at. So he tells the, the, the dude that's selling for the Dominicans, Yo, they live in such and such and such and such, blah, blah, blah. You can find them there anytime. And this is where they hang out. Here's a bonus. This is where they hang out at. So what happens? They go, they start looking for motherfucking Gordo, and they start looking for his nephew. Hopefully they grab the both of them. You kill two birds with one stone. You feel me? Hopefully they grab the both of them. So they drive and they they, they they going around looking for these dudes. I hear that probably like about a week pass and these dudes are driving. Every day they need to go out to see if they catch these two. One day they catch one. Oh yeah. One day they catch Gordo. Who they thought it was Gordo. It wasn't Gordo. It was his brother Jay. Remember, I told you guys they looked alike, but you had to know them to find out who was who, and also by their voice. So they they grabbed Jay, thinking that he's going to for three days, bro. And this is what I'm saying that I don't know. Nobody could say what you would do in a situation like that. Let's keep it real. If you know that your brother did some dirt and they take you and they say, yo, we're going to let you go, but you tell us where your brother lives. I mean, you tell where your brother's at, when will I come see him, blah, blah, blah. So for three days, for three days, they was torturing Jay, smacking him up, not giving him nothing to eat, no water. Nigga, you got to use the bathroom shit on yourself, nigga. Piss on yourself. The nigga, yo, for three days, bro, they had him like that, handcuffed down, be in the basement. How I know? Because that was the story that his mother gave to my mother. 
You feel me? Our both mothers was friends. Remember, I lived in the second floor and she lived in the first floor. So, you know, you have to be a strong person to hang on. No, once again, nobody knows what you would do in a situation like that. They torturing this dude for three days. All they want is his brother. Where does he hang? We already know where he lives at. But we know that he's hiding. Where is he hiding at? That's what we want to know. Where is the nephew? Where does the nephew live at? Because they knew where, where, where Gordon lived. But they didn't know where the nephew lived. You feel me? So... This dude, Jay couldn't hold it no more. And once again, people, that's not these guys' names. I'm protecting their names, you feel me? Now, Jay can't take it no more. Three days without sleeping. Every time he to fall out, hang up to hang, hang to a wall, I heard, me in a pole, a pipe. That's what my mom told me that he was in a pipe in the basement. They had the chain like this, and he's holding like this, standing up. Standing up. The nigga was falling asleep and they just smack him. Bow, bow, wake up. Sticking this nigga with pins, bro, in his balls. Sticking that nigga with pins, bro, in his balls. Big you know, the pinch of soul, that big shit, that big needle. Bang, bang, bang in the balls, B. The nigga like this, B. They were taking lights and lighting it up and, and burning his skin right here, bro. They was torturing this man. And remember, this man was also sniffing dope. So not only he that was torturing him, the, his body was also torturing him by being sick. Dope sick. The dude was shitting on himself, pissing on himself. And the dudes that had him for three days didn't give a fizzuck. He tried, man, for three days. He tried. And dudes kept telling you, we're going to kill you, bro. What you want? You want us to go to your house, be and grab your bombs? We know where you live at, nigga. So what he did, what he think he did that was best for him and his mother and being honest with you, I believe these dudes would have done something to his moms. And it's not a thing that you got to probably say, oh, yo, it's only $7,000, man, and a few bundles here and a few dollars here. But that's not the point. The point is the respect. If you let that shit go, there's going to be more people coming to rob you again. Fuck around. Maybe these two, the same two, is going to come, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. So you only, it's only right for you to do what you got to do to protect your rice and beans. But these dudes was willing to take innocent bystanders because that's a civilian. Their moms was a civilian. She wasn't down with that shit. She didn't know, yo, she ain't never fucked around, none of that. Even, even Jay, that it had nothing to do with it, was a civilian. But, Jay used to look like his brother. Jay used to hang out in the same area like his brother. So they thought it was Jay. They thought that Jake was going to. So Jake, Jay couldn't take it no more, man. So he broke. And he said, who, where's, where's his brother at? They said, where's his brother? He said, yo, my brother's in such and such and such and such house. He was chilling with his chicken head that he knew she was to smoke krills. And, and, and once in a blue moon, he used to go over there and stay with them. But at that time, he started staying with them. God knows if he was smoking krills, sniffing dope, whatever the fuck he was doing, he was partying. Remember, $7,000, a few bundles here. That's, that's like $7,000. You break that shit down, $3,500 for each. What, four or five bundles? Two, you know, they split the bundle, whatever money they split that. So you good for about a week if you know how to, you know, hold it down. So, boom, what happens? This nigga Gordo's coming down the stairs because he's going to go to the store, chilling in that chicken head house, the crackhead bitch house, who he used to blaze. He's coming downstairs to buy some cigarettes. 
And the Dominicans was waiting for that nigga right outside his motherfucking building. They were doing a stakeout. They did not let Jay out. They did not let Jay go until, until they had Gordo in the basement. So dude's mom said that they saw each other. That Gordo, when they take Gordo in the basement, they looked at his brother, they showed him like, yo, look, your brother gave you up. Oh my God, you know, like, that must have been a sick, sick, sick feeling to see your brother who told on you. To see your brother who knew what he did and who knew the shit he did was bad. He shouldn't have told his brother. He should have told Jay, yo, Jay, I did this, this, and this, and that. Be careful, man, because we look alike. Nah, he wasn't thinking that, bro. He was thinking for himself. They nephew never got caught because the nephew from New York, he's not living in New York no more. He went to Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania or Connecticut, one of those he was at. So he did his little money, he went back over there and stood there for a minute while they grabbed Gordo, the real Gordo, and they, they put him in the basement, they take the blindfold off of Jay and they see each other. So Jay saw his brother. Jay was the last one in the family to see his brother and he knew that he was not going to see his brother again. He knew it. Now, remember, Jay is weak. They got Jay. They haven't fed Jay. They haven't gave Jay no water. All they've been doing is torturing Jay. Every time Jay used to go under, they used to get that nigga like, like I, I don't know if it was cocaine. or I, I forgot what, what my mom said. They were giving him something for him to wake up again. And then right back to the torture again. So... They see each other and they take motherfucking Jay outside. They fucking stop a cab and they throw the nigga in there. They give the cab driver $20. The cab driver takes him to his house. He takes him right back to his to his house where his mom's live at. When that nigga get off the cab, B, I heard when he got to his mother's door that he just passed out knocking on his mother's door. That is more his mother opened the door. The nigga just fell in there, bow, by his feet so, to the floor, smelling like like somebody died. This nigga was smelling like somebody died up in his ass. That's how bad this nigga was smelling like a, a fucking hyena mixed with, with, with an elephant and a half a human body was stuck in his ass and the shit was rotting. That's how he smelled like. The dude was like this skinny because they was always chubby. The both of them was always chubby. So just imagine what he was going through for three days, bro. And not only that, he was kicking heroin. Ooh, ooh, that's crazy. And he told on his brother. Now, I, you know, you think to yourself and you're gonna say, "Well, I, I would have nah, fuck that. I would have never told him about my brother where my brother's at. I would have took it like a man. You're fucking lying." Because you will never know how you feel in that situation, bro. You don't know what kind of relationship he had with his brother, bro. You don't know if his brother and him was mad tight. You don't know if they ain't like each other. And for me to do something like that, that means you ain't like your brother. Or you was just a fucking coward. Or you thought it was about yourself. And if you did that because of that, you should go to hell yourself, dude. Now, if it was me, I cannot say. Because my mind will be traveling a million ways. I'll be like, you know something, that's your brother, but that nigga, he deserved it. He did that. That's how you think. And then you start thinking, but wait a minute, that's my brother, man. That's my oldest brother, man. That's the dude that protect me when I was a kid. You know, what, what mommy would think about if I gave Peter up. And, and, and this Peter's my brother. 
You know, what my mother would have done if I gave Peter up, and let me tell you, let's keep it official. Peter was the little favoritism. Like, oh, every mother and father got some favoritism. Let's keep it official. If you think you don't, if you think they don't, you're stupid, all right? You're stupid, all right? So anyway, I wouldn't know what to do, bro. I could say right here and say, you know, I would handle it, do what you got to do. But once that pain starts coming in, and once they start, oh, man, you don't know what you, you don't know. You haven't slept in three days. You haven't ate in three days. You haven't drank no water in three days. You haven't done no heroin in three days. You haven't showered in three days. You haven't seen the toilet in three days. All you've been seeing is smack kicks and, 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 and cold water on your face. Yo. So this nigga Jay, they open the door. Nigga falls in for it. Pow! He tells his mother what happened. His mother starts to cry. My God, my son just got tortured. And now they got my other son. And they're going to kill him. I don't know these dudes. Who was these dudes? But that was the rumors, man. That was the rumor. That's what the lady told my moms, man. And his moms had passed away. My moms passed away. And when my mother told me this, it was like years passed by. You feel me? Years passed by when she told me this this little thing thing. Because my mother kept it as a secret. My mother kept it because my mother was like me, loyal. If you're going to tell me something, I'm going to keep it with me. But over the years, blah, 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 she told me. She told me and my brother Peter, and also my brother Frankie, what happened. And it was sad, though. It was really sad because, you know what I'm saying, you know, just think about it. You gave your brother up. Yo, he's over there, man. And not only that, they take him down the stairs in the basement. They don't, they, don't, they, they take the fucking blindfold. And you look at your brother right there, the both of you looking at each other. You And you think to yourself, why he's thinking about me right now? What Did they say anything to each other? Did they say, yo, I love you, man. I'm, I love you, man. Did they say that? Or they, did they, or did they start screaming at each other? Yo, you did that shit. You deserve it. Blah, blah. No, I didn't do it. You did it. You know, nobody knows. The only one that knows what happened there was the dudes that did that shit. And then my mother told me some other thing that a couple of days passes by. His mother gets a little package. His mother opens the door to go outside and there's like a little package there with a letter. This is crazy. There's a package in front of her door with a letter. She picks it up and she reads the letter. I don't know what the letter said. My mother, uh, these, um, Gordo's mother never told my mother what the letter said. But when she opened it, there was two fingers and it belonged to Gordo. And they wanted the money. They won, I think it was $20,000, some shit like that. Mother didn't have no $20,000, bro. Lady was on um, Jesus Christ. The daddy was uh, on. She was living for, from her insurance from 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 you know say she used to she used to work all her life and she was living off a check, paying rent for an apartment with two bedrooms. I mean, she didn't have money like that. Plus, this nigga Jay ain't gonna kick up no money like that. Jay don't got no money like that either. Jay's a dolphin motherfucker. Jay is a dolphin, so he don't got no money like that. And they cousin, they don't got no money like that. And when I heard that the cousin did not even go and see Jay and apologize to Jay, yo, I'm sorry that me and Gordo did that. And they grab you, man. But deep down inside, he, I mean, I don't know if they if that ever happened because. I'm pretty sure their nephew's gonna know that they his uncle gave up his brother. 
Because who's the only one that they know? Who knows where the brother's at? Where was where was going to? Who knew that? Who knew that? The only one that knew it was the nephew and the brother, Jay. That's the only two that knew. So I'm pretty sure the nephew knew what time it was. Now I say this, man, and I and and, and I you know I never approached him because I remember when I came home from from my second when my first parole violation when I came home I wound up in Manhattan uh, I forgot the name of that place I wound up in Manhattan not, not work police nothing like that I, I, it was like a program or something like that I wound up there they paroled me to that and like about two weeks passed by while I'm in there this nigga Jay comes in so obviously Jay did a bid and they, they, and they let him you know let him out to go to that program so I saw him there and I never questioned him I never questioned him like, yo, did they ever, you know, did they ever let your brother, you know, let you know where the body was at? Did that really, really, really happen? I never questioned that. I never went to it because I feel that that's something really personal. Really personal. And I'm pretty sure if I would question that, he probably would not even be able to look at my face and tell me, yeah. How can you? You gave up your brother to get murdered. To protect your ass, you gave up your brother. And I don't know, once again, I don't know if you're going to be like, yo, but my brother deserved that. Yo, he looked for that. That was your brother. But then again, nobody could say it. I wouldn't know. Like I said, one more time, I would have been like, yo, that's my brother. I'm going to die for my brother. But when that pain starts coming, bro, when that pain starts coming, you start thinking like, fuck that. He deserved that. Not me. I didn't rob these people. And I talked to Chip because you start thinking about all that. All of a sudden, you become a a a, a, a program graduated from drugs. All of a sudden, you're like, no, I ain't gonna do no more drugs. No, hell no. Please, God, let me go through this. Oh my God. It's sad and it's bad, man. The only thing I could say, man, is that he didn't care about his brother. Or if he did it to protect his mother. Would they would have went and got their mother? I believe so. I believe they would have hurt that lady. Anyway, this is your boy K Solo. Hope you guys enjoyed the story. You already know, man. This is the K Solo Show. You heard? A.K.A. Rikers Island Stories. A.K.A. The Ghetto Gossip. All right? Don't forget. Voices in the Dark. All right, voices in the dark in your face all day, every day. Listen, let me let you guys go, man. Remember, this is the K-Solo Show. Please hit that like. Please hit that like, man. I'm serious. Hit that like. Hit the subscribe. If you know anybody out there, man, get some support. Hit that subscribe. And, and don't forget to cash out once in a blue moon. Your boy K-Solo needs a laptop. You heard it? I'm trying to give me a lit that type. No question. Yo, King Rudy. Yo, listen, guys, real quick. Once I get this laptop interview, I, yo, this is gonna be, I believe this is gonna be one of my favorite shows when interviewing Rudy, aka King of Trouble, cause I love that brother, man, that brother's crazy, I love that brother, anyway, I'll holler you guys later, man, yo boy K-Solo, hit that like, alright, salute, 114, peace!